Anchor Steam Beer. Short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands Barks and Buzz Reviews. I've got a bit of a special one here. This is the Anchor Steam Beer from uh, San Francisco in the United States. Now, this beer um, it dates way back a long time considering it comes from America. This goes back to 1896. Now, that might not sound too um, t- too old in terms of you know British breweries, Belgian breweries and European breweries and you know they've been going a hell of a lot longer but you gotta remember America was a young is it is a younger country. But this was um this was basically what the the gold prospectors on the West Coast, especially around, you know, San Francisco, this is but this would be what they'd be drinking. And uh, it gets its name from the way it was brewed. It was um fermented on top of the on top of the brewery, on the rooftop, in open air vats, if you like, and the steam, you know, from the... I don't know if you've ever been to San Francisco, but the climate there is very... It's warm and it's cool. Cool nights, warm during the day, and there's always, a, like, a breeze coming in off the bay. And at night, you'd see steam coming off the, the warm beer that was fermenting, and that's where it gets its name from. And that was a byword for uh, beer in San Francisco, steam. And it's stuck, and um, it's a lager of sorts, but it's done with top fermenting yeast. So that technique is not too new, but it's the way it's uh, it's the way it's done over there. Now I've never had this before, and I've been reading up about it, and it looks quite interesting. They also do a lager as well, and I've got some of that downstairs, so I will review this. But I want to do this first because this is what they're renowned for. This is their flagship beer. Okay, what we got in the bowl? Well, first of all, before we open it, there is the cap. Nice gold and blue cap on there. Don't know if you can see that. It's got an anchor on it after the brewery. There is the there is the label. Nice full colour yellow label. Can you see that? And there is the back. The usual caper, all the ingredients and all that. Uh, ingredients it says water, barley, barley malt, hops and yeast Yeah, 4.9% in the uh, alcohol volume and it's got the address here and I am sure when I went over to the um, United States, San Francisco I'm sure I walked past that brewery it was closed at the time but I remember seeing it had big vats in there and I never made a point of going in and I'm absolutely gutted because I should have because this is, this is a big part of San Francisco brewing but never mind that. Too late now. Let's get it open. Let's see what is in that bowl. Up with a collection. On the nose, out of the bowl. Malt, caramel malt, and not a lot else. Sweet caramel malt. Hmm. Okay. Now this is cold, it's come out of the fridge. I've had it in the fridge for a few days. So let's see what gives. This is a 355 mil bowl, so I will get that all in there. And there it is. It makes a point of saying that it's a deep amber colour, which it is. Lots of carbonation. One and a half finger, well maybe maybe a two finger head on that. Slight off white, tight foamy bubble, bubble head on that. Uh, on the nose out of the glass, what are we getting? Again, more in malts. And not a lot else. It smells almost German with them caramel malts and not a lot else. Let's get it down the hatch and let's see what is going on.
Yeah, very nice. Mmm. That smells and tastes like a really rich pilsner. And um, I'm not sure what, you, what hops they're using in this, but I'm getting big caramel and biscuit on the end, the very end of it, and there is some slight hot bitterness on there too. And it's reminding me of a Czech pilsner. There's a little tiny touch of spice on there, not a lot, but the dominant flavour is then caramel malts, <clears throat> and roasted caramel malts, which they do say that they're using, they're using pale, and I think Munich malts, and I get that, I'm getting that lovely Pilsner type flavour from there, and I wouldn't have expected that from an American brewer to do it as good as this. It's really nice, it's really refreshing, but it's got more body to it than a, than a normal lager. It's like a, almost like a cross between, and you can tell that it's been top fermented, and they've used top fermenting yeast in that as well. But it works, and it's really nice, it's very clean. Very refreshing. The carbonation has died down on that now. There's very small bubbles coming up there. It's got really good mouthfeel to it. As I say, big caramel malt. Slight hot bitterness, but not too bad. Easy drinking. And then you get that sweet biscuit malt right at the end. And I really like that. That is good. And I've got the lager downstairs, and I'm going to try that next. And I'm going to compare the two. But this is um, this is good. It's got more more depth than your average lager. It's got that caramel malt going on, and I've been drinking quite a bit of out beer recently, so I've been sort of overdosing on caramel malt. But this is much more subtle than that, <clears throat> and it does give way to a bit of biscuit malt on there too and the whole package works really well. So what would I give this? Well, to be honest, I wasn't expecting much. I thought, oh, it's just a, a novelty American beer. And I'm quite surprised because I really like it. I could drink this all night. And it would go down very smoothly indeed. What I like about it, even though it has got the caramel malt, it's very clean tasting. So, on the strength of that, I would give that a solid 8.5 out of 10. And I would recommend this, and if you can get hold of it, you know, it's, I'm sure some trendy bars must be selling this. But you could drink this all night, and if you like a bit of flavour, in your lagers and you don't like your piss weak watery stuff this has got bags of flavour good caramel malts in this that just make it really flavoursome and then on, on the arse end you've got that biscuit malt which makes it so moorish and it's good it really works yeah eight and a half out of ten and recommended and remember beer is working class champagne <laughs>